So now we can talk about uh, Bobby Lashley killing people. Well, it opened up with Morrison introducing Miz, and Miz came out, and he rambled on. He's been here for 16 years. Man. Chimney Christmas. That's what we need to advertise to the world. He's Nobody been... measures up to him. He's the Babe Ruth of WWE. Rambles Babe, about his Babe, resume. Babe, 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 Ruth's, Babe Ruth's been dead for like 60 years. So finally, you know, Bobby... 70, 70 years. Finally, Lashley and MVP come out. And MVP says, we want to congratulate you, but Lashley here is the one who wrecked Drew, allowing him to cash in this briefcase. And Miz says, well, I was going to I was gonna get to that. We got a lot of celebrating to do, so you guys are welcome to excuse yourself. And, of course, Lashley's just staring a hole in the sky, and he says, I helped you win that title. I want the first title shot. And Miz says, well, I did promise you a title match, but I didn't say when. Uh, There's no time for this match. I've got so much stuff that I've got to do. And essentially, Lashley grabs him and says, I'm going to give you one hour, and you better make the right decision or else. And so... So he he didn't make the right decision, and there was no or else. Well, he didn't make the right decision tonight, but Lashley at least knew he was getting a championship match next week. But the whole point in the first segment was that next week is too late. It had to be within... He had to do this within an hour... Or he was going to the hospital one way or the other. Well, he had to make the right decision. And I can't believe I'm defending this. He said he'd make the right decision in an hour. And he didn't even have time to make the decision because Strowman and Shane and Pierce and all these other numbskulls came out. And they just messed the whole thing up. So that's why he survived tonight. I guess. I would have just beaten the hell out of Miz. I would have, too. If he didn't, if he didn't give you that title shot on the first day, he he demanded it in not even not even in the third hour. He wanted it in the second hour of the show, and he did not get it in the second hour or the third hour. Lashley came out for Miz's ultimatum. Adam Pierce is out there, and Miz is just begging for more time. Miz says, "I'm worried about the honor and respect of this title. Many wrestlers deserve opportunities." Blah 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 blah. So Strowman's music hits. <laughs> Strowman comes out. He grunts that he wants a title match. He says, I am far more clarified than Lashley for this opportunity. I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Well, I mean, there's, there was, a, um, I think, um, I'm far more... Clarified. That's what he said. I know what he said. Yes. I know he, like, this it's is like to he... melt butter in order to separate out the water and the milk solids. I don't think that's what he meant. Is that what... What are you talking that's about? That's what that means. Clarified. <laughs> I just know that he was supposed to say something else, but I don't know what... Well, clearly. Yeah, I am more qualified. Well, he said clarified. I'm sure qualified is probably the word. Well, he, he, you know, it's like you're you're trying to have him memorize a script, and, you know, he doesn't know the difference between qualified and clarified because it's not his words. Well, Shane comes out. We get a very fake Shane O'Mac chant. And he tells Pierce he needs to tighten things up around here. I'm telling you, it's Pierce and Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. Against each other? They're building this up. They've been building it up for weeks now. Oh, God. I suppose. I don't care. Whatever. If it, if they get the story good, but I don't know. I mean, Adam Pierce can work, but he hasn't worked in how many, how many years since he's worked? Five years? Six years? Bro, he hasn't worked in like six years, and he'll still work circles around Shane McMahon. Well, but Shane McMahon will do like really goofy stuff, which Pierce won't do. You know, he'll like jump off the top of the pirate ship or whatever. Well, the secret, the secret, if I were to give Adam Pierce advice, is move. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. So anyway, they're going back and forth, and Bronze Maddie wasn't in the chamber, and it has to be clarified to him that it was only WWE champions and not Universal champions, and so his argument is to throw around personal insults, saying that they suck. And finally, Shane says, listen, Braun, you want Lashley? Let's do this tonight. So it's Lashley versus Strowman tonight. If Braun wins, it will be a triple threat next week. And if Lashley wins, it's Lashley versus Miz. And Miz is not happy about this, but they leave, and then Bobby chop blocks Strowman from behind and bails. So Miz and Morrison are arguing about what the best strategy is. Uh, Strowman shows up and they bail. This leads to Lashley and Strowman in the main event, and it actually was not bad. They're working no, their for, asses off here. No, no, no. For what? For for the for the two guys they did about they went four minutes. 
which is um because the show was long running long and all that but um it was for those two guys it was as good as you're gonna get it was it was um it was it was good you know i'm mean, really throws his dude all over the place stroman of course runs into the steps like a fool Lashley does his dive off the apron, works over his knee. They do a counter on a suplex. He hits the power slam. Lashley kicks out. And then Lashley hits a spine buster, spears him, pins him clean in the middle. Actually, Strowman kicked out at like 3.1, but he still pinned him. And then he puts him in the hurt lock afterwards and leaves him for dead. And Lashley was awesome in this segment. And well, that's that was that was what it's all about. It was all about making Lashley. Yeah, making Lashley so he can not win next week for Heat. Um, probably. Yeah. Great. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Again, if it's if it ends up with you know if it ends up with Lashley and McIntyre, then you know whatever happens this week doesn't matter because you got you know you you don't want to peak you know you you don't you don't need to change the title next week. Um, but you could. Doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you get to your destination at WrestleMania. I have so little faith in this. I wonder why. So little faith. I do too. I can because I can always figure out ways to do it, and they um, it always seems that whatever they do is like way worse. And I don't even think long and hard about them. No, you think about what would be the most obvious thing, right? But see, here's and then the they don't do it. Yeah, but you know why? Because they're sitting there, I've we've got to fool him. And so when they want to fool you, then they start going in all these directions. They're, they're like, they're like, you know, fooling themselves. That's the whole point. Like, the, the so in their attempt to fool us makes them look like fools. We have a Randy Orton talking about somebody interfering in a match who wasn't even on the show last night. You build up the Ali Kofi thing and you do nothing with it. I mean, I, I don't know. Yes. I was definitely fooled. I was definitely fooled I'm, when Kofi I'm, came out and looked over his shoulder and then got in the cage and then nothing happened. I was definitely fooled when Randy said, Alexa cost me that match last night, but she wasn't even on the show. That certainly fooled me. I can't lie. I can't say that I was fooled. I, you know, I could, you know, I just thought that, like, uh, they're just, look, we know the Fiend's coming back. I mean, we know we, Randy Orton's probably wrestling the Fiend at WrestleMania. That's why they kept oh. putting it off. Well, I mean, it's like he's got to because, I mean, they've been, they didn't do it at Rumble like they were originally going to do. And so now they've been putting it off and putting it off. So obviously, you know, that's where they're headed. Well, I can't wait for that. I can. Randy Orton and the Fiend, it's like the odds of that, um, I don't know. I mean, well, you know, they always do need like worst feud of the year every year. Or so, so, I mean, the Fiend needs to come back for those, for those, for those things. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.